Okay. Do the intro. Uh, I'm really the bike. <laughs> I don't know what to say. All right, so fresh from. Fresh from China. This is what? our titanium fat tandem. Yeah, what's inside this box? So it was ordered on October 5th. Today's what, the 20th of December? 21st. 21st of December. December. So we waited two and a half months <laughs> after we ordered it. We sent a bunch of money to some random email address in China. Totally legit. Seems totally legit. We spent a month designing this from scratch. <laughs> and we have no idea what's inside this box. We've seen I mean, a pic. We've it's seen better to be a titanium tattoo. We've seen a picture, but if it turns out this it's... This box is gigantic. Like, this is... This is huge. Full dogs for scale. Like, this is large. <laughs> And inside <laughs> is a very, is a very light, well wrapped, well wrapped, so light. What do you think? Eighteen pounds for the box. Chunk of metal. So when you see us again, we will have this unwrapped, and we will be building us a bicycle. We left you for a little while, so we had to work. It. Hopefully, it looks more like a bike now. We installed seat posts, saddles, set. Well, we set the tires up tubeless, kind of. The sealant isn't in them yet, but you have your fancy Murica tape followed by <laughs> tubeless tape and then vinyl rim strips, which you can view on another one of our videos. It'll be linked in the comment, not in the comments, but in the info section below. What we have left to add, this piece is an eccentric bottom bracket that's going to go in the front 54 millimeter so that we can adjust the timing chain. The rear accepts a regular English thread bottom bracket that is 100 millimeters wide, which is kind of becoming the fat bike standard. We obviously have our tires, our 220 millimeter Magua rotors, and our bars, 780 millimeters. Maybe that's a little wide for the stoker. We may cut that back. And then saddles of choice. Uh, headset is in. We have our Mastodon Pro extended here, which has plenty of clearance for the widest of the wide tires. And our V Snowshoe 2XLs on Surly, my other brother, Daryl, 80 millimeter rims. There, we installed the GX cassette on the other side. So all we have left to install are drivetrain and brakes. And we should be good to go. Karen was working on this by herself and she got me to thinking that this is kind of complicated. We should show you guys. So this is the race face cinch crank set. And because we're using a tandem, both of our chains are gonna be on the right hand side, on the drivetrain side. Normally a tandem, like our usual tandem, which I can take you over here to take a look, has timing chain on the left side and drivetrain shifting on the right side. So our tandem instead is gonna have everything on the left side so that we only have to deal with one set of chains on one side of the bike. But what that means is, for those of you who love one by, normally you put your crank on here, you put your drivetrain chain ring on here, and you just have one ring. For us, we're gonna have two. One chain is gonna come from the front, from the captain's pedals to turn the back, and then the main drivetrain one by is gonna be on here. And on the front, we're gonna run a bash guard so that if we hit a rock or whatever, bash guard will be put in the large position, and then in the small position is gonna be another chain ring. So that necessitated what they call a spider to be attached to the right side chain ring for each crank set, and of course, to be uh, torqued onto here. The nice thing about Race Face's cinch is that it uses a normal uh, square taper style bottom bracket tool to tighten up and torque that to 30 foot pounds and you're good to go. So there you have it. One crank arm, one spider, bash guard in the front, 32 tooth in the rear, and 22 tooth on the inside for your timing chain. So the next time you see us, we will probably have this stuff installed on the bike and it will make a lot more sense than just me holding it in my hand. I'm locked. So this has gone into day two. And with the magic of editing, we 
have something that looks something like a bicycle. I have a brake line that needs shortening. The rear one's actually maybe a little short or maybe find the way it is. And then we need to make a chain and install shifters on here, just install the shifter cable and we will have ourselves a bicycle. With the magic of editing and voiceover, here's the finished product. Sharon works a very different schedule than I do. Night shifts at the hospital where I work days. And so I finished the little details of the tandem when she returned to work in the middle of the week. In case you're wondering what it's like to date a healthcare professional, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day were right after the build days you see in this video. Sharon returned to work even though the rest of us had the days off. We all owe our thanks to healthcare workers who have made this sacrifice for us, especially during this pandemic, where they are there to care for us day and night. The final build required making custom shifter cable housing. When we got the Green Goblin tandem that you see in this video, it was a basket case. The bike had sat outside, and the sun had eaten every rubber and plastic piece on the bike, including the grips, cable housings, saddles, tires, and brake pads. The sun even faded the handlebars significantly. We rebuilt some of the tandem in our hotel room and then took it out on the town that evening. We went bar hopping in Tempe at Arizona State University and had a blast. But once we returned to New Mexico, we ended up replacing all of the cables and housings, which were nearly 20 years old. We bought boxes of housing so that we could cut them to length. Those of you new to tandeming will want to do the same. Shifter cables also need to be long, so we keep multiple shifter cables in our box so that we can use them for our half bikes or the tandems as needed. This tandem, the Danger Zone tandem, has a wheelbase of over 1,900 millimeters, which is nearly double that of a normal bicycle. Custom cables and housings to get back there where the derailleur and brakes are located are a must. Fitting the chain is pretty similar to a normal bicycle. SRAM Eagle uses a special tool to get the B-screw set to ensure that the jockey wheels and the derailleur don't interfere with each other. On any geared bike, you will want to be able to shift into the largest gear and not have the chain be too short, but also have the spring-loaded derailleur take up all the slack in the chain when you're in the small cog. Our cassette has a 52-tooth large cog and a 10-tooth on the bottom end. This allows substantial range, from climbing mountains to flying downhill. The timing chain tightens with the eccentric you saw in the earlier sections of the video. It should be tight, but not binding, so that the timing chain cannot come off when you ride. In this photograph, you can see the front brake cable was still not cut to length. If you are very careful with the Maguro brakes, you can manage to cut the brake hose length without having to bleed them. I was skeptical that that would be possible, but I managed to pull it off with instructions from another YouTube video that's put up here by Magura. Still, we keep the materials to bleed the brakes, and that should be a regular part of your maintenance on any bike with hydraulic brakes. It has since been cut to length, which you will see in this picture. Eventually, we will film a bike check video, preferably outdoors in a nice natural light. But for now, here are the bike specs. The titanium frame came from a company called XAD Cycles. It has a 68 degree head angle, 73 degree seat tube angles, and clearance for the 5S fat bike tires. The sizing is what I would call small sizing front and rear, similar to small sized mountain bikes from all the major companies. No commercially available tandem bicycle was sized for a team where the captain and stoker are of similar size. The custom frame was designed by yours truly. The longer stoker top tube allows Sharon to see more than just my back. Most commercial tandems are built with the stoker very close to the captain to minimize wheelbase. The bike is already long so this temptation should be avoided. For those of you looking to design your own tandem frame, the best advice I can give is to think about what you like about your current bikes and incorporate that into your frame design. The companies want us to compromise on fit so that we will buy their bikes, especially tandems. But fit is important. Everything we love about this bike came from some other bike we ride, incorporating the best features from all of them. Both seat tubes are milled for stealth routed dropper seat posts. We are running solid posts at this time, but if we decide to hit the hard stuff, we have the ability to run dropper posts front and rear. This required shorter seat tubes, which also gained us additional standover clearance. This is great for off-road use where you might need to put a foot down and really has no significant disadvantages, at least not for our use. 
The fork is a Manitou Mastodon Pro Extended with 100 millimeters of travel. It has clearance for the largest tires made for bicycles. The frame uses a 44 millimeter head tube and a Cane Creek headset for which bearing cups for both straight and tapered steerer forks are available. The tires shown in this video are the V Snowshoe 2XL 26 by 5.05 inches. We also have a set of Surly Nates which are 26 by 3.8 inches. A wheel set is being built that will allow us to use 29 plus tires which are similar in height to the 5 inch class fat bike tires but better for our use for general mountain biking. We have every intention of using this bike in the snow in Colorado, but due to the pandemic and the restrictions preventing us from leaving the state, that will probably not happen until 2022. The drivetrain is pretty normal, SRAM GX Eagle 1x12. The main chain ring is a 32 tooth on the drivetrain, and the timing chains are 22 tooth for maximum clearance. The brakes are Magura MT7 Pros, which claim to have the most bite of any mountain bike disc brakes. They are made for downhill and free ride use. We are using the largest 220 millimeter rotors that are also 2 millimeters wide. This re required some adapters since the fork is made for 180 millimeter rotors, like most trail bikes, and the frame is designed for a platform mount 203 millimeter rotor in the rear. The wheels are custom built using Onyx Classic hubs which have a clutch with infinite engagement points. As you may notice from our other videos of us riding the bike, the hub is silent when coasting. They use a DT Swiss Alpine 3 butted spokes and Surly's My Other Brother Daryl 80mm rims. We plan to use a substantially similar setup for our plus wheel set with WTB rims and the same hubs and spokes. And last but not least, the pedals are race face chesters. We run them on almost all of our bikes. The name of the tandem, the Danger Zone, is a reference to Tom Cruise's silly 80s film Top Gun and the famous Kenny Loggins song from the soundtrack. It just wouldn't be funny if I didn't ask Sharon to talk to me goose while we were riding. The F-14 Tomcat, which is now re retired from military service, was built around its powerful radar unit. In contrast to most modern aircraft, it required a naval flight officer to operate the radar in the cockpit. Similarly, the Stoker is an important part of a tandem team. She is capable of influencing the general direction of the bike and is not a mere passenger. She is also crazy enough, just like Goose, to get in the back even though she has no flight controls. She has no steering, no brakes, and no shifters. Fortunately, she has a bell back there. Many ask if she ever captains, and she does sometimes. But it's a very special skill to be a good stoker, and I couldn't ask for better than her. And for those of you wondering, yes, mountain biking together is a great joy. We both love riding but riding together is even more fun. I hope you enjoyed our general bike build video. We hope to get many years out of this tandem. It is like someone took everything we love about biking and built it out of metal just for us. If you like what you see, please subscribe to Bad Bully MTB on YouTube and follow us on Facebook. Leave us a comment below with what you'd like to see more of. Enjoy the outdoors. We tandem to enjoy the outdoors together.